It is important to get a continuous integration pipeline set up as early as possible in the development of your application. Once tests are added to your CI pipeline, you can continue to innovate and build with confidence, knowing that you cannot merge code to your main code base that hasn't passed your tests. Here are some tips for bringing continuous integration tooling into your team. Make sure everyone is on the same page with respect to what you're trying to achieve by introducing a new tool. Don't try to make your entire organization into a model DevOps team overnight. Instead, make process changes on one team to see if they work within your organization. If you see improvements, keep moving incrementally. Before you start any improvement plan, get accurate metrics for where you're currently at. For example, our dev cycle takes X amount of time. Then, after a small amount of time, you'll be able to see whether it's been effective and pivot as necessary. Do not try to automate everything, at least not all at once. One misconception about DevOps is that all the infrastructure provisioning and the configuration management must be done automatically. This is referred to as infrastructure as code. But automation is not the solution for everything. Some things work better when they are manual. With other processes, you have to start the manual way to figure out what the best solution for automation actually is. Continuous integration is not just about implementing a new tool. It is about changing how the development team works. It's a new mindset. And making culture changes in an organization is not easy. It's okay to start small. For more information on how to get your team started with continuous integration, go to circleci.com today.